Well, if you look closely, you'll see that director Alan Parker and actor Mickey Rourke have some scars from their recent battles. Before we get to Alan Parker's <laughs> battles with ratings, Mickey, you have been filming all night, I guess, and you have the hands to prove it. What's going on there? We're making a movie. I, I, this is tough work. Yeah. I think some of us think that you're in an insulated studio all the time with makeup <laughs> people hovering about. Not so here. No, no. Is this one of the roughest shoots that you've had, according to your hands, at least? No, it was just one scene, and it took all night long. You know, we used a steady cam, and, and uh, uh, I had a wart here, and it fell off, and that was... Good heavens. Yeah. Tight shot on wart. No, we won't do that. <laughs> now, let's, t let's see what kind of condition Alan Parker is in, because, of course, you know, as we speak, you have lost the appeal on the X rating. Ooh. Uh, so how, where does Angel Heart go from here? What's going on? Well, it was, you know, I think most people agree that it was ridiculous to, to give it an X in the first place, really. I mean, those X normally go to, to uh, exploitation pictures, and this obviously isn't. We knew it was strong film, we knew it was powerful, and we knew it would have an R, and that's what it should get. And now it's, uh, you know, tap down between everybody, between what, what it is exactly that does offend them. But where is the real power being wielded here? Now, there's nothing illegal about an X rating, but it is tantamount to a kiss of death. Well, I wouldn't Who's say kiss of death. I think kiss of death's the wrong word. In terms it, of getting it shown, that is, distributed. Yeah, well, what it amounts to is censorship. Actually, uh, I am contracted to make an art picture. The distributors will only put out an art picture. You can only advertise an art picture. Certain theaters will only show it, an art picture. So we're not stupid enough either. We didn't put all that work in it. I've been on it for two years. Mm -hmm. So you want the picture to be shown. And the fact that they give it an X is actually what they're saying is they, they disagree with certain aspects of the movie. What it is, I don't know. We hope it's one particular love scene. Sex is always a problem with, with censors. But right. it might not be. I mean, this might be a kind of a cinematic roulette here, trying to figure out. It might well be, you know. It's like I say, it's like if, if, you, if you're performing an operation, you put somebody on the operating table, we could be chopping away forever before mm -hmm. we find out what it is they actually dislike. We'd end up with one foot. You know. I'm going to ask Mickey along these lines, if when a scene is cut, Mickey, for whatever reason, that maybe contains work you were personally very proud of, right. does it hurt a little bit like it might hurt Alan for other reasons? Depends what's cut. Mm -hmm. In this case, let's see if anything from that particular scene were cut. Would that bother you over much, one way or the other? Well, I can't let it bother me too much because it happens all the time and you got to get used to it. But in this particular case, Alan has been editing the movie for a long time. And so the cuts that he made when I saw the film, I was very pleased with. Uh, as far as with the six people, who these six people are that gave us the X rating, we don't know what it is that's offending them. We don't know if it's the... It, it can't be the nudity because you, you've, what we have in this film you, you've pretty much seen before, you know man and woman, you know, and uh, I know. <laughs> there's a little bit of blood that falls and a little rain and uh, I'm a white man and she's a black girl, so, you know, I don't know if it's that, you know. Well, there's or, other things that we can't and so, yet. so nobody quite, uh, uh, but Alan is, a, is uh, uh, you know, unique in this business. He's a very powerful filmmaker, very, you know, he really gets that thing across and so you know when they're seeing a film with all these things happening the way he's put it together it, it that can be disturbing mm -hmm. too you know the whole thing with the the uh what's it the voodoo what do they call it mm -hmm. the the, the, yeah the occult stuff mm -hmm. you know so you, you don't really know what what's what's bothering these people i mean we've seen movies that that have uh more nudity and stuff like that than this particular film. I mean, that, that you know, this might be a testament to the intensity of this picture as much as anything. That's the point I was trying to make. Yeah, yeah. You suppose. Well, in you fact, mean, you know. could you have made this film 25, 30 years ago during the so-called studio period in Hollywood? Well, I mean, obviously not. But I mean, would you have been comfortable working within a regime even more? No, I mean, we've all fought for our creative freedom to be able to do it the way that we want to do it, and we've won in certain respects. Only to find actually that the the studio regime as such has been replaced by these six anonymous people who are not even in part of the movies, mm -hmm. in the darkened room saying this is an X, that's an R, this is PG or whatever. Probably I, w I wouldn't have been able to do it that way, no. But I mean, we have a self-imposed discipline in everything that we do. And, uh, All right, now I hope I'm not. I don't think I'm giving away anything by saying I have not seen a thriller like this since Frankenheimer's Seconds, and I mean that to be a compliment. Mm -hmm. 
Um, there is a November in your soul, I suspect. That was said about Melville. Can we say it about Alan Parker? Maybe. I don't know. If I understood what it meant, you could say it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's, let's try and find out what that might mean. A darker side that maybe yeah, allows well, itself expression on film, if nowhere else. Yeah, that's true. But you don't know. I mean, you know, as an artist, and I think potentially, potentially that's what we are, um, you do the work as best you can do it, and some things of you come out on the screen without sometimes you knowing it. You know? And when you look at an actor like Nicky Rourke, similarly, there must be something you see there that catches that, that darker edge, possibly? Yeah, I mean, I I I dislike intensely the sort of uh, you know the chewing gum cosmetic movie stars in some of the films that you see today, and he's not that. He has an edge on reality, and in the end, it's 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 all based on acting as opposed on to on uh, cosmetic image, and that we hope is what the character is in the film. And Mickey, as we sit here talking about things like this, I guess I would second guess you by saying it makes you uncomfortable, as if we're analyzing something you would maybe rather not try and analyze No, I've been down this road before, and it, it's like a hopeless issue, really, you know what I mean? You got, what are we going to do? We got the six people, they already voted us down twice, right? And mm -hmm. gave us uh, an X rating for a movie that, that uh, I mean, I think that the six people should come forth and give their reasons and their fucking names and tell us why they gave us an X rating, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, really. Is you know, it let's, let's do that. What are we playing games for, right? And isn't it ironic that the films that do play in the exploitation houses, the so-called triple X, are not films that have ever been submitted to a rating anywhere. They don't carry an official rating of any kind. No, car. there's an enormous amount of hypocrisy that's going on, yeah. I mean, this is a strong and powerful film and should have an R. I take that the conclusion, then, that you don't mind, in some ways, this film being a kind of a battleground. So good things might come of it, you know. It's everything you do that has any kind of worth is a battleground. It's very easy to do the kind of movies that uh, are being made right now, but if you want to do something that's special and different, and I hope that an audience will respond to that, it's always hard. It's always been a battleground, and it won't be any different, not forevermore, all the time he's making movies and all the time that I'm making movies. There you go. Maybe a bit scarred, but stalwart nonetheless. Okay. A pleasure to meet you, Alan Parker, right. Mickey Rourke. Okay. And I'm with them for Angel Heart here in Los Angeles for KCTV5. I'm John Tibbetts.